Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and the last beta of iOS 26.1 is here and it comes with some really interesting changes. It is actually very surprising to me that Apple is actually taking a step back on their liquid glass design. They now offer a way for you to basically disable the real liquid glass design, but also in some other parts, they have removed some things that really made this design just stand out and look absolutely beautiful but let's go ahead and take a look at this update we have a lot of new features to talk about a lot of changes that apple has made with the fourth beta of ios 26.1 now before we get into all that i just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor most of you guys that watch my videos are still not subscribed to the channel so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them hit the subscribe button it really helps the channel a lot now, first off, this is the new build number for iOS 26.1. It is 23B. 5073A, meaning that this is the last beta of iOS 26.1 before we move on to the RC and then the final release. Now, in a few minutes, we're going to talk about those dates as well. So, this is a new build number ending with an A indicating the last beta of iOS 26.1. Now, these betas tend to be quite big in size. I don't know about you guys, but in my device, they all come like really big. As you can see right here, 12.6 gigabytes for a beta 4 on ios 26.1 that's actually really huge and now let's get into the new features and changes and the most important one the ability to basically turn off a liquid glass on ios 26.1 so all you have to do is go under display and brightness and you will find a new section So there we have the liquid glass section under display and brightness. So yeah, now you will have actually two different options. So you have clear and tinted. You can see a preview right there. You can see how the clear looks, the real liquid glass design, even though the beta one of iOS 26, I believe was the one that had actually the real liquid glass design. It looked absolutely stunning, but they turned it down afterwards. So you can see if we move there, we basically get this like, just like white tint right there it doesn't look that good and you can see it also on apps here so if i go let's say to the app store just notice the colors right here like they pop up underneath the section here for searching so if we go to tinted now you can see that will actually turn like white and it doesn't actually it's not actually that transparent so that turns down the liquid glass effect a lot and you will also see in things like your notifications right here you can see the notifications they are basically now with this white tint they look absolutely terrible i don't really like what apple has done there at all so basically removing the liquid glass effect on a lot of parts and then if you go to other things like you can see right here on the app store let me just show you guys this part right here so let's just turn on the liquid glass again so going here and moving between tabs you can see where we have that liquid glass effect they are moving previously it used to have like a glow that would show right here on the tab that actually looked really really cool but now they have removed it completely with iOS 26.1 beta 4. It doesn't matter where you have the liquid glass enabled or not with this new switch, it will remove that glow that you would see pretty much anywhere where you can move like a slider here between different tabs. That actually looked really awesome. It had the great effect, but now it has been removed. Also, another change that you will notice on the home screen here and on the control center as well, is that that glow that you get on the corners of your icons on the home screen and of the toggles on the control center. Now it's much different. Now, now we will basically have like a white line here circling the icon. Previously it was just on the corners and it would move of course based on the movement of your device. They do move now but when it's still it's basically just like a border and it doesn't actually give you that great effect that it was previously on iOS 26 up to iOS 26.1 beta 3. And now let's move on and talk about some more new features on iOS 26.1 beta 4. Going to into the camera, we have now a button that will basically allow you to disable the camera from the lock screen. So on the lock screen of your device, you know that you can swipe to go to the camera from the right to the left. Now you will be able to actually switch that off completely. 
And on the phone settings, if you go to your settings and go to phone, now you will have an option to disable the haptics. So right here, have a new haptic switch. It says play haptics when a call is connected or dropped. If you want to disable that, you can do that now from here. So you don't want to get that haptic feedback. You basically disable it right there. And when going to your settings, if you go to the general and the about section, you can see there under name, if you have a really long name for your device or you have your name there and it basically doesn't fit here, it will now not cut it off, but it will show it underneath the name. So it says name there, then it will show the name underneath that, underneath that title, which is in my opinion, a very nice change. Also under the settings app, when you go to display and brightness, if you scroll down here and you go to display zoom, finally they have updated the wallpapers with the new default wallpaper of iOS 26. This was previously showing the wallpapers from iOS 18. On Safari, when you're on a web page, if you're scrolling like this and you have the address bar at the bottom, so if you're using this layout, just notice that the text here that is underneath the address bar will now be blurred completely. Previously, it was just transparent, so you would see basically everything there. This would just float above the text and everything that's on the website. Now it will basically just blur everything that is from this part and down here. So everything underneath the address bar will now be blurred. Another small change here on the lock screen. So on your lock screen, when you go to set a wallpaper, you can see if we're setting the wallpaper, the default one from iOS 26, we have these dots right here where it basically indicates the different pages here while you're moving. They used to have a background underneath them. Now they're just dots. Basically they have removed the background from here. Moving back into the settings app, and if you go under Apple Intelligence and Siri, you will notice two different things right here if you pay close attention. So what are the two changes? Well, they have aligned this to the left, just like they did with the other section of the settings app, but also they have removed the beta badge from here. Until now, this would say I was basically Apple Intelligence and Siri it would have a beta badge, meaning that Apple Intelligence is still on beta. Now they have removed it with the fourth beta of iOS 26.1. So these are the new changes and the new features of iOS 26.1 beta 4. But what's next for iOS 26.1? Well, with the new build number indicating that this is the last beta, we can expect the RC to be released next Monday. So just as expected, 27th of October should be the day that Apple releases the RC version of iOS 26.1. That will actually be the last update to the devs and the, to the public testers before Apple releases iOS 26.1 to the public. And in my opinion, that will be November the 3rd. That Monday should be the date that iOS 26.1, the first big update to iOS 26, gets released to the public. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.